myself, well, let me check out this show and see what he's got going on. So I'm checking out the show, and the more I watch, the more I say to myself, okay, this is cool, but I'm really getting some vibes here from Mr. Lee that the way this show was handled from beginning to end was highly sampled from nobody else but Armand Wiggins in the Armand Wiggins show. Guys, Jason really did a number on this one. I mean, from using some of Armand's coin phrases, even down to some of his sound effects. But I just don't really know. Okay, right? So we're going to get into some things. Um, and let's just kind of break this down. We have a packed show. We've got to get into a lot of things. And I'm going to tell you why I decided to do this show. I respond. No triggers. Everybody don't have it. Montana when I push that. I feel like I'm on fucking, uh, what's that show called? Movie? Scarface! Anyway. But when I saw him last night on his new show trying to be a more animated Jason than he normally is, I'm going to be honest, guys. It just came off as bad acting to me. I just really was not feeling it. I have to be honest, guys, I was a little disappointed with the first episode because I like Jason Lee and he has a very unique style all on his own, but I don't really feel like it came through in his show. Now, I'm just giving my two cents, but for me as a whole, the episode just came off as very dry, uh, watered down imitation of the Armand Wiggins show. You know, we love Armand for his bright, bubbly personality and the level of energy he gives us us while he's commentating on celebrities and Jason tends to have more of a laid back and relaxed personality when commentating that actually works really well for him um, on Hollywood Unlocked and on Love and Hip Hop. Jason also made it a point to mention in the show that he had actually received a deal from a major network for a show of his own, but that the project was delayed due to COVID. So he figured instead of waiting on the network to give him a show, that he would go and create his own. Now, guys, I don't know how far into the alleged deal Jason Lee was, but you know your girl did a quick little Google search to see if I could find any mention of a talk show. And of course, I didn't see a thing, honey nor have I ever heard mention of a talk show in the making from him. So whether this is just something he threw out to make us feel like he wasn't watching another fellow gay male with a YouTube show we all love, and while watching him rise to fame decided he wanted to jump on the train to try to get a piece of the YouTube pie, I don't know, guys. But what I do know is if Jason Lee doesn't want to be labeled as a show stealer, he's going to have to do something to try to make the show his own without looking like a poorly directed spinoff of the Armand. On Wiggins show. Now, he did also mention that he will have frequent celebrity guest appearances, which Armand occasionally has, but isn't very common. So hopefully that will allow his show to stand out a bit more from Armand. But it's really just going to depend on the delivery that Jason Lee gives us that will ultimately determine whether or not this show will be a success. Anyways, I need to hear from you guys. Do you think Jason Lee is pulling a little from Armand Wiggins with this new gagging show? 